next thing you want to do is basically just instantiate, uh, just go ahead and create a class. So we've already uh, gone ahead and created a singleton, and as, as we have discussed in the previous video, that we can't instantiate a trait directly. So we can just use its methods uh, into another class, but we can't instantiate it. So we don't need to instantiate this because we can't. So we'll close this. All we have to do now is just create another class for us. So we're going to go ahead and um, create a directory called classes. And inside of classes, we'll go ahead and create a class and we'll name it as class Aquila theme dot PHP. Okay. You can say that it bootstraps. the theme. Don't get confused with the bootstrap. It's not bootstrap, it's just that it bootstraps the theme which means adds all of the basic functionalities of the theme. Add package Aquila and then we we'll just give it a namespace. Let's give it a namespace of Aquila theme and then includes and then we're going to create a class called Aquila theme Okay, and then since we remember, we want to ensure that if the instance of this class is already available, it should not be instantiated again. And for that is the reason we created the trait singleton. Uh, we created singleton so that it, it shouldn't be instantiated again. And we used trait is because we want to use the method of that singleton uh, into multiple classes. So what we're going to do is, like we learned in the previous episodes, that if I'm going to use a singleton, all I have to use, do is just use the use keyword and then singleton. And you can see that it's already included that on top also. And then I can just use it like so. So the reason why it's added the namespace, because we know that our singleton had a namespace over here, right? So it's Equila theme, include traits, and then singleton. And, and that's what's over here, Equila theme, include traits, and singleton. OK, awesome. Great. So now, uh, for now, I think we can create a construct function. And let's keep the construct function protected, because I don't want any other classes to access its uh, construct method. And then inside of this, we can actually load classes, other classes. You know, this would be like kind of a uh, the main class where we actually load all of the different classes. Okay, and then if I want to uh, use any actions and all that, let's keep keep another function for that called setup hooks. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it as setup hooks. This is where our actions and filters will remain. Okay, and then we can just say this setup hook. All right, so we've created our class, and we all know that if I want to use instantiate this class, I have to use the new keyword, but in our case, we don't have to because, like we learned in the previous video, since it's using the singleton pattern, uh, we can just call the get instance of the singleton this method, which is basically going to check if the instance of this class already exists. If it does, it's just going to return that instance. Otherwise, it's going to create a new instance of the class, which means it will instantiate it for us. We don't have to do it ourselves. So let's go ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and make sure we call the get instance into our main functions file. So we'll just cre create one function where uh, you know we are going to instantiate any other uh, classes over here, like load all of the classes here. This we'll just do one here, which is this one. And then this one, this will eventually include all other classes. Awesome. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and um, say that Aquila theme. And you can see that it's already added the namespace before it. So you already know about this. And we can call the get instance of this. Right. So this is going to go ahead and instantiate this class because it's calling the get instance method of the singleton 
and this is going to check whatever the call class is if the instance doesn't already exist it's going to instantiate that class for us so that's what we're doing uh, over here basically and I think it'll be better to wrap this in a function um, so we'll create a function called Aquila oops Aquila get theme instance and just paste it here and then just call this function down at the bottom okay great awesome now uh, let's go ahead and just check if this is actually being loaded or not so I'm just going to say WP die hello uh, just a small correction this will be here this will be capital letter Aquila theme and similarly over here it's going to be capital letter Aquila theme okay you can take a reference from the github repository it's mentioned here okay and then let's go ahead and check and we expect that I should get hello you can see that you can see that I've got hello over here right so all all done so just to recap so what we've done is we've created a singleton uh, trait with the job of which is basically provide us with the method called get instance which is going to check if the instance already exists it's going to return that instance of the class otherwise it'll create a new instance we have got autoloader the job of which is to basically autoload the classes and uh, you can see that over here it's just autoloading the classes and uh, the directory by default it's going to pick up from the classes uh, directory if you're wondering what these case are like traits and widgets and blocks so traits you already know it's going to pick up from the trade directory and then to, to ensure that that file is included so if the case of directory is trait then it's going to pick up this file and make sure it includes that that's why we didn't include it in our functions.php because autoloader is going to already do that for us and then later on uh, in upcoming videos we're going to create directories like widgets blocks so we are just putting that already over here so we're just going to go ahead and uh, include the the classes from there as well and uh, yeah this one is by default so it's going to include all of the classes from here alright so that's what's basically happening over here we're just validating the path and just making sure that the path is included so you can see that we're using the require once uh, function to in ensure that the path is already included if you want to go ahead and print the path over here you'll be able to see what's coming inside of it let me just get rid of this WP die yeah let's see there you go you can see that for now inside of the path we have the includes folder we have got the Aquila theme as well then inside of that is going to check that if it contains these directories or not okay great awesome so I hope that was clear and now in the upcoming videos we are going to further discuss uh, just move all of our uh, functions like so currently we have our NQ stuff all of that inside of the functions we're going to keep the functions.php clean just uh, we're going to add some of the constants and then just move all of this into their separate classes and you will notice how clean this is uh, this becomes and how structured it becomes and it becomes useful when you are working on a big projects to keep everything clean and structured if you find it too overwhelming all of this if it's not making sense to you it's all right just uh, just make sure that you get yourself familiar with this because that is what is more important and then as you are working along with me in the tutorial series things are going to be more clear to you as we move forward and these are the best practices that we should actually follow when we are building the themes or the plugins etc so it's good to learn them awesome so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, do follow me on Twitter uh, my Twitter handle is Cody Tech and also follow me on github uh, my github handle is Imran H. Sayyad and I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye